Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about how to, instead of using a bunch of different one object, object buffers, kind of the old school way to get separated elements in Sim 4D, let's talk about the advantages of using puzzle mats. And the great thing about puzzle mats is you're able to get three objects and mat them out all in one layer inside of After Effects. So if you need six object buffers, quote unquote object buffers, you can get those with two layers instead of having six layers inside of After Effects. So let me show you how I like to use puzzle mats and how I set them up in Sim 4D. In the next video inside of After Effects, I'll show you how I use these puzzle mats to simply lay them out and mat out your objects in After Effects. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I get this scene set up for puzzle mats. So with puzzle mats, we have a red, green, and blue channel, which are also our object IDs, one, two, and three. So in this case, I set up object IDs one, two, and three for this first ship, the water, and the rear ship. And so the way I did that is if I select this first ship, I come to this first ship, and I add a redshift tag, a redshift object tag, you'll have an option here, an object ID. So we're gonna set this to object ID number one. And basically what we're gonna do is just continue this process for the other objects that we want all on one layer. So let's say we want object number two, to be the boat in the back. We would do the same process. Here's that second ship that I selected. I give it a red ship tag and it's object ID number two. And if we select the water and we look at the water or the ocean, also has a red ship tag and that's object ID number three. So we have our three objects set up, but we don't have any puzzle mats yet in our renderer. And also remember to see your AOVs or your passes, whether it's puzzle mats or depth, you have to be in bucket rendering, not in the progressive rendering. So let's go ahead and set up our puzzle mats or our AOVs. So when I render out of Cinema 4D, I like having everything in one layer, so I almost never save a regular image. I'm almost always using a multi-layer EXR file. So you click save. In this case, I have tokens for the takes to name my files. And file format is open EXR. And if you're ever wondering, the compression method that I like to use is, is DWAA because it gives us really good quality, it gives us multi-layer compositing, and it keeps the file sizes, the actual size of the files on your hard drive, very low, so that's nice to use. So that's all set up for the EXR file. Now let's go into Redshift, and right here we have our AOVs, and I like to open up the AOV manager. So we have a couple of other passes here. We have reflections, we have our depth pass, but what we want to do is we want to add our first puzzle mat. So here's puzzle mat. We don't want the material ID. We can get puzzle mats based off material, but we set ours, if you remember, to the object ID down here. So let's make this object ID. We're going to go object ID one, two, and three. Cool. And let's call this puzzle mat one because we might want more puzzle mats after this and I'll show you how that works. Let's go ahead and start up the render. All right, now that our bucket rendering is complete, we have our beauty pass, our depth, and now we're able to see our first puzzle mat. So remember, we get three channels, red, green, and blue to each puzzle mat. So let's say we wanted to separate out these two missiles and this front boat. They're currently all black. They're currently blacked out and they would be all on alpha. We just need to add another puzzle mat. So let's go ahead and pause this. We're gonna select this. We'll copy and paste it. All right, automatically renamed it puzzle mat two. But since we already use object IDs one, two, and three, we're just gonna name these four, five, and six. So as you guessed it, each one of these extra objects that we're using for our second puzzle mat need to be four, five, and six. So what's this missile here? Gave me the redshift tag, this is four. We have this missile here, that's five. And would you know, this ship is going to be number six. So while we're in bucket render again, we have puzzle mat two, but you know, it needs to re-render so we can see our second puzzle mat and it can calculate that. Cool, so there we go. So with two AOV passes instead of six, we're able to mat out six objects using puzzle mats. So like I mentioned, in the next video, we'll bring this into After Effects and I'll show you how I like to break out puzzle mats clean and easy and organized with alpha that you can add extra effects to instead of luma mats and we can composite all inside of After Effects. So 
Hope this helps, and I'll see you guys in part two of this Puzzle Mat series. See you in the next one.